Welcome back. Just over a week ago, I did a large recap video on all the test foils and the cup. But just as I was releasing that video, Alinghi launched their first test foil and it was really very interesting. However, at the time we didn't have any footage or stills from this foil on the water. Seeing the foil on the water gives us some extra insights. So I thought this foil really with some very interesting features deserves a little bit more of our time. I'll be completely honest with you, I've been a little bit disappointed in Alinghi so far. They're a huge name in America's Cup history, obviously the only European team to ever have won the America's Cup. Was kind of doubtful that they'd be necessarily a contender for winning the Challenger Series, but I thought they'd be very competitive. And I could see that this is maybe, you know, a kind of a, a two or a three campaign um, project for them. Nevertheless, I was expecting more than what I've really seen in terms of their testing on their B1. And they've actually had this AC40 for quite a, a long time. They've not really put any um, kind of test parts on it. Been sailing it in quite a, um, quite a normal mode. However... This foil that they've released tells a very different story. Now, we've already pulled up on the tubercle um, that's seen on the outboard side of the foil. You can see, and they're kind of larger towards the root and become smaller towards the tip, towards the camera. Seems to be a very smooth top surface. No obvious sign of a flap join on the top. There are a couple of things which I think are worth pointing out which is really novel about this fall and why I'm kind of kind of reinvigorated my excitement about the participation of Alinghi. So first of all this is the first foil we've seen in the America's Cup with a sweep in the trailing edge and it's not a massive sweep but it is um, certainly pronounced certainly there and if I pull up, pull up the foil comparison shot you can see there is, you know, at least three degrees of sweep in that trailing edge. I mean, we've seen it on the leading edges before, but either we've seen a kind of a flat, um, straight trailing edge. This is interesting for a couple of reasons. First of all, you know, there's a theory that goes, and I'm sure people could comment on this down below, that sweep in the wing can help with the kind of aeration of the foil as it breaks the surface. Obviously if that sweep as the foil breaks the surface, if the majority of the foil area is forward of that break of the surface, then it's going to be harder for the air to get sucked down forward against the flow of the water over the foil and that um, may reduce the ventilation risk. And that seems to go hand in hand with some of the benefits of the tubercles, which um, can organise the flow a little bit over the span of the foil and maybe reduce the propagation of this aeration down, down the foil surface. It actually makes it very hard for these flaps to rotate kind of inward. They're, you know, the, the flap rotation axes are towards the middle. It's not a completely dissimilar problem to what you have with a um, with a Y foil or a banana foil where if the flaps as they come down if the aft edge of the two flaps are coming together then that that flap's got to go somewhere as they as they meet together as the flaps move um, and that's quite a complex uh, problem to solve with with flexures and moving parts and this kind of brings us on to some of the other pictures. So um, this image is from the day they had the boat on the cradle. So the first time we actually saw this foil. And you can see if this black covering is flexure, which goes over the flap. So that's wing and from this line out is flap. And if this kind of black material um, kind of bonded on is flexure that's kind of covering up that join um, but it actually shows us quite a lot about the detail of this full first of all it looks like there are two independent flaps maybe this line here shows a change 
in the material so that the this could have some sort of flexibility join to allow these flaps to come together as they go down um, and again as we go out to the tip it seems to not be covered by any sort of flexion material yet the following day when they did launch we can see before going on the water quite a marked difference first of all this area is now filled in, whereas before we saw a gap in the flexure. So if it just flicked between the two images quickly, that's where this area has got a cut out, and that's the day before. Then the day they went sailing, all filled in. And again, if we go out towards the tip, you can see it's covered, the join is covered all the way to the tip, whereas when we look at this one, it's exposed. And there must be some movement there because when we look at the on the water photo after only a day sailing it looks like some of this material which was covering the join this flexion material has come away from the foil again it looks like some around this kind of oval area that they had again has moved away yeah i'm not sure what that is telling us yet um it could be telling us about the motion of these flaps. Maybe they're pivoting kind of in where the flap is moving into the foil. It's catching some of that material and um, and wearing it. Um, it could be where they're getting um, some turbulent flow over the foil, which is backwashing into that flexible material and kind of ripping at it. And they've lost, as a result, lost some of that material. Um, but yeah, really interesting foil. And the final thing that has happened on this foil, and it's happened to a degree on other foils, but I think is significant, is that it's pretty asymmetric foil. I mean, they've got the tubercles on one side and not on the other. And what we know is that the foils have to be symmetrical about the center. But in reality, you'd probably want the outboard side doing a slightly different job to what you'd want the inboard side of the foil do and yet it has to be symmetrical in its construction obviously the outboard end is the end which is operating closer to the water surface um, it's op operating within that surface flow of of wind blown waves where you have a motion of the particles in those waves so that kind of changes the angle of attack as you go through each wave regardless of you know the foil tip breaking through the surface of the waves but the actual flow experienced by that foil isn't just the path that the foil is taking through the water but it's actually the motion which is in the kind of particles of water as they get picked up by the motion of the wave the energy of the wave which moves the water kind of up and down effectively but as it goes down as you as the face of the ray wave approaches the water sucks towards the peak, the water actual particles move towards the peak, and as the peak passes, they move back towards you. And that's why often when you're well, when you're in waves and you feel a, a breaking wave, you feel like you're being sucked into the barrel, um, and you have to do a greater speed to escape the barrel than what the wave is moving through the water because you have that kind of localized movement of the particles up the face of the wave and that motion of those particles will diminish as you get to the lower side of the foil and obviously the lower side of the foil has far less chance of air sucked down to it um, at most cantangles upwind it's you know well away from the surface compared to that outer outer tip so you've got two different side of the foils operating in very different environments which have to be symmetrical. This foil isn't symmetrical, ultimately when they build a race foil it will have to be. A lot of the teams have largely built very symmetrical foils, Lunar also have played a little bit around with foil tips changing on either side, but this is the first foil which we've seen which is significantly asymmetrical. And what it allows them to do is then mount this foil on the other side of their test boat and test, obviously at the moment, the tubercle side is near the surface and they can collect data on how that's interacting with breaking through the surface, with normalizing the flow over that surface, limiting the propagation of aeration down. They can look at all that. 
and then they can flip it round and they can put it on the other side of the boat and compare that to how the more plain, you know, straight leading edge copes in that environment and get a kind of, a, you know, a straight comparison between the two, but only at the cost of building one foil. Yeah, really interesting points that Alinghi and some new ideas that Alinghi have brought to this game and certainly showing their value as a challenger, bringing new design ideas to the table. And it's exciting always to see new ideas um, displayed in the America's Cup because ultimately that's what it's a test of, a test of, um, of ideas and realising them through engineering. So it's fantastic to see a new team. Um, you know, it would be, like I would have said at the start of the video, it would have been easy for Lingi just to kind of um, imitate and get to a competitive point purely through that. But here we see they've brought their kind of original ideas um, say original ideas obviously not all these ideas are completely <laughs> original in any way in isolation but um, bringing new ideas to the America's Cup foil game and that's um, that's good to see and has certainly raised my expectations for for Alinghi but yeah if you've got any theories on this foil um, the implications of this foil um, then let me know jump in the comments below um, again, if there's any additional reading that I should be aware of or additional theories, then shoot me a message about it because, um, yeah, I really do like being able to take that on board and then pass on that information to the rest of the viewership as well. Right, that's it for uh, that's it for Alinghi. Um, next video is going to be Ineos's Banana Foil, a deeper look at that because I don't think we quite did it enough um, justice in the kind of general recap video. So yeah, take care and I'll see you around.